Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to optimize Minecraft for your PC. Now there's a few settings in Minecraft itself, and then there's a few things you can do on your PC. Um, the first thing we're going to look at is the version of Java that you have. Now let's jump into our uh, Minecraft. Alright, so we're in here. We have a world which has quite a few entities and things going on so there is quite a bit of a load on the memory system here right now if you go and hit F3 uh, look in the top right corner and you'll see the Java um, the Java version you have to make sure that it's the correct bitrate where is that zombie you have to make sure it's the correct bitrate so for me I'm running 64-bit Windows and for the quite a long time, I didn't have the right bit. I had 32-bit Java, and that was uh, totally messing with my... What the heck? Right. All right, anyways. So I'll show you how to increase that memory for uh, Minecraft, and then I'll show you a few other things uh, to do on your PC. Uh, so let's go back into our desktop and tweak some uh, Minecraft launcher settings. All right, so in your Minecraft launcher, you're going to want to go to your profile. Uh, and in these settings here on the bottom, there's the Java settings advanced. And in this area is where we're going to tweak. So if you click on this, JVM arguments, um, this is now editable. This part here is what's going to determine how many gigabytes of RAM is going to be um, set for Minecraft. You don't need any of this other stuff. I don't even worry about it. I just replace the number here. But what you can do is just take all of this out and then set however many gigabytes you want for uh, Minecraft. Now I have 16 gigabytes on this computer. So I'm going to go with 8, and 8 is half of my 16, and that's usually a good estimate of what you should be putting because you don't want to use up all your RAM allotted to Minecraft because there's, first of all, your operating system that needs uh, RAM and other things like that. So a good rule of thumb is to have um, half of that. Now, like I said before... I don't worry about taking all that stuff out. I'm just going to replace the number. To me, that makes the most sense. Then you're going to want to save your uh, profile. And then we're going to go into, if you go Control, Shift, Escape, you have this guy here, the task manager. Um, you can see we have a running Java. Um, what we want is the opened... Not the uh, the Minecraft launcher, but the actual Minecraft Java window. So we're going to have to play. Alright, so when this thing is open here, you're going to want to uh, minimize that. Go into the details, because that's where we're doing the tweaking. You're going to want to find the Java java.w.exe. Uh, there's two of them. One of them has more memory being used, and that's the one that has, or the one that is, that's the the Minecraft Java thing that's running. So if you right-click on there, you'll see a set priority. It's usually on normal, and what you can do is set a higher than normal uh, priority. So you can set it to high or above normal, or even low if you want. Uh, real time I wouldn't suggest because that's probably too much memory usage. I usually go with high. You can change priority. And then that's kind of it for this piece. Alright, so we're back in our Minecraft world and you're going to want to hit the F3 button again and you can see on the top right now it's at 8 gigabytes rather than 1. And the memory usage is drastically better. 4%, 5%.
Um, you can see it rises up to roughly 500 megabytes. That would have been 50% if I was still using the one gigabyte, but now it's like 5%, so much, much better. Um, let's go ahead and look at what happens when we render tons of chunks. Let's go F3. I'm uh, still getting 30, 30 frames per second consistently. And this is recording with fraps uh, in a world here, which is really good. Still only peaking at about 12% on the memory. Now I'm getting 60 frames per second. And it's consistent as well. Let's go to where all these entities are, just to double check. It drops a little bit. But still really, really smooth. And I'm on the maximum chunks here. Which is pretty crazy. So beforehand, if I would go above 10 chunks, I was getting shit stuff. Shit frames per second. Um, not cool. I think what works best as well is if you're using all like these high settings, is to actually maximize the frame rate. So if you have unlimited frame rate, it seems to be less stable, but don't really take my word for it. That's just what I've done and noticed that it seems to be working quite well. So, yeah, um, yeah, boy, it's raining now. All right, well, uh, as you can see, still running 60 frames per second, really smooth. Typically what happens when I'm recording with fraps here is it'll start out at 30 frames per second and then just kind of magically double up to 60 whenever it feels like, which is really weird. But yeah, I've, I've before I've struggled quite a bit to get any consistent frame rate. I've tried tweaking all these settings and those, I guess three basic things seems to really, really improve uh, the frame rate and everything. So yeah, hopefully you guys liked that. Um, it took me, what is it, like three years to figure all this stuff out. And I'm super glad that I figured it out because now I can run everything smoothly. And again, running even while I'm recording with fraps, which is where I used to have the most problem. So hopefully you guys like that. Thank you very much. Leave a like if you did like it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.